Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial about the Google Sunrise Toolbox. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to start a peer-to-peer -peer connection between the robot controller and your PC. So first of all, you need an Ethernet cable. So you have to connect the Ethernet cable between your Ethernet connector on the PC and the connector x66 and the robot controller afterwards you have to go to your PC and you have to click on the internet connections right click and press on open network and internet stinks so go to ethernet afterwards you have to go to change adapter options so here you have all of the adapters in your computer I am connected to the robot controller through this adapter the TP-Link 100 megabit per second so you have to go to this icon Ethernet 2 right click then go to properties now we have to change the IP of uh, the BC into a static IB go to internet protocol version 4 TCP IB then click pro properties and from the general tab you have to go use the following IP address now if you uh, if you have seen the first uh, tutorial you know that the IB of my computer is 172 31 1 147 so the IB of my computer shall be in the same range of the IB of the controller of the robot so the first two numbers shall be equal that means 172 31 shall be equal the last two numbers shall be different from the one of, uh, of the controller so I can use uh, 75 32 then you have to use the submit submit mask as 255 255 0 0 now you click OK and then you click close right now you have uh, established a peer-to-peer -peer connection between the PC and between the robot controller now to make sure that we are connected to the robot controller we have to ping it so uh, go to this search icon and write cmd so we're gonna go to command prompt and from the command prompt we have to write ping 172.31.1 147 or we are going to ping the IP of the controller so 172 31 147 is the IP of our KUKA your robot here in the lab so you click enter and you see that the ping time is less than 1 millisecond or around 2 milliseconds that means there is connection that is established between the robot and the controller now I'm gonna do something right now just to show you if you have an error connection so I'm gonna go again to Ethernet I'm gonna go to change adapter options I'm go to properties I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use a dynamic IP address Uh, which is uh, uh, the default setting of uh, your uh, Ethernet adapter so if you try to ping the robot controller again you see that the robot is unreachable so we get a timeout and the robot is unreachable so if you have any trouble with the connection between the robot and the control between the computer and the controller 
either due to hardware failure or due to software configuration you are gonna get uh, this uh, message which is request timeout on the other hand if you do everything right you are gonna get uh, a pink time which is few milliseconds or less